Hello, welcome to the game with church, round two. Church trashes from your hand. Um, trashes one card only though. So, looking at this kingdom, a couple of thoughts went through my mind. The first one was to do something with cultist and delve. So the way that works is you buy delve, putting as many silver into your deck as possible. Where possible, you buy a cultist, and after cultist, you buy provinces. All the while, with the extra money you have, just delve, delve, delve. That deck is resilient. Junking doesn't hurt it that much. Neither does trashing attacks, honestly, because you just have so much silver. And also, it can buy green cards quite um, effortlessly near the end. Effortlessly is a strange word. I mean... Once it has all that silver in the deck, it can buy a province a turn, probably for 8 turns, which is all you need. On the other hand, you have Church and Remake on the opening. Thin down, maybe build something with Golem, Markets, Monument, a couple Idols, something like that. That deck has more pieces. But you could go down that road if you want. Now, I figured whichever road you want to go down, the Ruin Split is going to be a big factor you can only build after the ruins are distributed so it's going to be delve and cultist on 2-5 for me against my opponent's remake and church i would have done the same on 3-4 remake comes out here to get another church for my opponent as well as a silver plus they delve into a second silver uh, five is going to be another remake, not remake, what am I saying? Another cultist for me, of course. Like I said, the ruin split, we need to sort that out first before we think about what kind of deck we really want to build. So my priority right now should be to put as many ruins into my opponent's deck as possible. So the church comes out here for my opponent. Uh, they'll set two aside and use two coppers to pick up a third silver so they have ample money to start picking up cultists of their own now this is going to be a couple silver for me but here was the point where i had to make a decision if i wanted to go for the gold and market thing by picking up a remake or a church or if i wanted to stay committed to the cultist delve thing i went for the cultist delve thing i didn't feel like I would be able to see my remake or church often enough to thin and get that nice golem market deck. So here I go for delve and cultist, which I think is wrong. I think it should just be plain cultist as my opponent did the turn prior because it makes it less likely that I chain cultist and I really need to make sure I put as many ruins as possible into my opponent's deck. So I should have taken the basilica points as another factor. But the big factor is I get to cycle more, I get to push runes through quicker. And I don't need the silver. I have three already. And I can buy cultists very comfortably with that amount of money in my deck. I have no ruins yet in my deck, right? So I should be fine for that. So I think that's a misplay. I think I should be concentrating on junking my opponent as much as possible. I still think um, the ruin split is going to decide the game. So my opponent picked up a potion there. I thought that should have been a quarry. I didn't like golem this early. Turning up ruins is not ideal for the golem. And the quarry would help with Basilica points one. But more of more note, it would help with buying markets. It would help with buying markets. So six here for my opponent. I assume they think about market, uh, but decide on a cultist, which is the correct option, I think, here. I am going to forego the delve on this turn. Just pick up the cultists, trying to push the ruins through. I realized my mistake during the game and decided to rectify that. So, uh, my opponent does get the quarry now, which is nice. Again, I do get the silver there. You can make an argument. Maybe you shouldn't get the silver. Uh, perfectly reasonable. Uh, honestly, I don't know which is better to flood the deck with silver or to think about the basilica points and the junking. No idea. But I went with the um, uh, no silver for now. Wait till the Basilica points are done. Also, the Basilica points accruing them 
takes them away from my opponent so i reduce the avenues that my opponent has to score because they will need to score against this silver heavy deck at some point right and the extra points on the basilica might be useful to them there's also points on monument so i have to watch out for that uh first golem for my opponent here and the last of the basilica points go to me second golem for my opponent and we'll take the last cultist and now that the basilica points are done the ruins are done most more importantly we're just gonna click buttons like a machine delve delve cultist on nine you just pick up silver where you have extra money and now if i i'll buy province if i can't buy province i'll just delve until the money is done so there goes the first province for me this is a great hand making the ruins miss the shuffle the ruin split ended i think eight to two in my favor overwhelming overwhelming seriously so my opponent um picks up a their first market there which is good they'll be able to make use of that with their quarry there are a couple golems so the deck is coming together they have been trashing they have a couple churches we know that and remake has been doing its work as best as possible so i just have to keep on top of things in terms of the points right so i went for triple delve on the last turn a bit disappointed to not see any of my seven cultists on the top here but it happens it happens uh, this turn is going to be another triple del for me four potion for my opponent i felt like maybe market is better than golem at this point they already have the two golems and the market with the quarry is real nice they can get a lot of markets with that and the markets would also help with the golem not drawing dead like they, it did here into cultist and remake uh, they go instead for the tragic hero so the plus buy is good for them uh, but you see here had the tragic hero been our market maybe they could have done something more with their turn i'm not sure i have no idea i'm not tracking the deck that well but anyways the plus buy is important with the quarry if it comes from tragic hero then so be it so market for my opponent here and another tragic hero i believe they could consider a second quarry at this point it makes picking up the market so much uh, cheaper and monuments will be free I, and they need to get the monuments because i'm gonna start hitting the provinces real hard here this turn is probably the last turn i need to buy silvers in order to buy all the provinces so three silver combined with a province is a good look for me now i have a big deck filled with silver mostly silver i only have two ruins and a few green cards floating around so my opponent's golem finally comes decent here he finds our market right that's all they really want to see uh delve into golem and i don't know if you've noticed but the silver pile is well below half at this point so that is also a consideration for my opponent and also me for wanting to end the game dead draw golem is not happy you see the ruin causing problems there for my opponent market and tragic hero here i'm just gonna keep picking up provinces try to put a few points between my opponent and myself before thinking about three piling on the silvers because my opponent's deck is coming it is coming right he has remake as well to gain some duchies perhaps double tragic hero of this golem so his my opponent's golems have not been kind really at this point they should be a bit more reliable than that but they're not uh, anyways i see myself with what 36 37 points advantage and i decide to go ahead and try to pile the silvers at this point in the um, piece here i don't think my opponent could um, get 37 points in the time it takes for me to empty the silver pile which i estimate to be about three turns from this point there's 10 of them that's 20 dollars right I think I can manage twenty dollars in three turns. If I draw well, it'll be in two turns. But reasonably, I could expect uh, a three turns for that to happen, and I just don't see how my opponent can score enough points in three turns. 
So a couple markets for my opponent. We are going to go ahead and spam delve. Almost to the end here. We get four more silver with this hand. And actually after I buy the four silver my opponent resigns the game here. I mean it was lost from a long time ago. Opening the cultist is just stupidly strong. Even against church and remake. So that is how game two ends. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Please, any feedback, any comments, I'll be happy to hear them. Alright, see you.